Good. Look here, we have others. Planner, informer, manager, monitor, involver, parent, friend, because this is what we saw before again. And now, teachers change roles during a lesson. Now we have one lesson, and the teacher plays different roles in one lesson. And sometimes in one activity, you can have different roles. So, lesson type, activities, age of students, lesson aims, level of students. So you, you take all these things into account and then you have or you play different roles. Okay? If we talk about the, um, the lesson aims, for example, my aim is to help students communicate effectively. Yeah. What roles I'm going to play? So before at home you prepare for the, the roles. Number two, age. I'm going to teach students TPR, adults, teenagers, juniors, etc. So at home you prepare for the student. If I'm teaching um, uh, young learners like children, what is the best role you can play? Uh, yeah, you get involved with kids. Good. Manager, you manage the contributor. Contributor, yeah, involver, okay. So you, you take this into account, okay, before you play a certain role. The objectives of the lesson, the age of students, the activities. Activity one is presentation, activity two is practice, activity three is uh, production. So each activity you have to think about which role you are going to play. Now, as a presentation, which role do you play? Language, the resource, you give them the information, you present. Practice, you can be a, a helper, you help. Monitor, there is practice, so you monitor. So it depends on each activity. And very important, the listen type. Is it listening, reading, writing? Is it inductive, didactic, is it grammar, is it vocabulary? So all these things, you take them into account, then you can decide which roles you can play. Yeah, now, if you have a very low levels, the best roles you have for the dominant facilitation. To facilitate. Model, you model, you demonstrate. So, uh, don't just play a certain role. <coughs> these things you have to take into account. I'm going to share all these slides. Okay. Now, teachers' roles. We have three stages when it comes to a certain lesson: before, during, and after. Before the lesson, the teacher is the the planner. Before at home, we are planning. Can someone read this one before the lesson? Yes, please. So here we have two major roles, plan, planner, diagnostician, you have to design your own diagnostic test, okay, this is before coming to school, okay, then we have, now it's the lesson, you started, you entered the classroom, okay, can someone read this, yes please, during the lesson, when new language or, or new vocabulary is being presented to the student, the teacher thinks of the role of a new form. Setting up activities, the teacher takes on the role of manager. While students are doing activities, the teacher becomes the monitor, diagnostician, manager, and, the, and a resource. Where there are disciplinary issues, the teacher becomes the manager and, in some cases, a parent or a friend. You see, during the lesson, then we have different roles. Manager, informal, monitor, etc. Now, after, once you finish your class, someone, yes, please. Were able, were able to do, and what they had issues with. The teacher is diagnostician uh, and planner. Teacher, teachers look at their schema of words to check whether or not the next lesson is probably in smoothly planned. Good. This is just to um, to know that now you have put a lesson and you ask yourself, there are three parts, three stages. There is before, during, and after. So before, what roles are going to play? During and after. 
Okay. We can also talk about reflector. Yeah, finish. You reflect on your teaching style. No discussions. Read the teacher's comments below and decide which of them you would agree and which ones you do not agree with. TPR, total physical response is the best of the best. Okay. Good. And here, um, as, as a teacher, you can be a father, you can be yeah. a mother, yeah. parent, especially with young learners, yeah. kids. Good. And I believe that the most important roles are organized. But for this teacher, yeah, the most important yes. is organized. But for other teachers, it might be different. Yeah. Okay, so it depends on each teacher. Good. Yes. For me, I think this is a good approach to follow because the teacher needs to be a real father for the kid. Because kids, if they love you, they follow you. Excellent. Exactly. Don't create the environment of passion, of love, of great interaction with the kids and the students. Then they cannot respond to you. Very interesting. Interesting, yeah. That's why you have to work on how students will like you, will love exactly. you, your style of teaching, your personality. If they like you, you will like the subjects. If they hate you, they will not like coming to your class. And it happens to us when we were yeah, students. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I still remember when I was in the high school, I was very good at geography and history, but I didn't like my teacher at that time. I didn't like the teacher. Then my level of history and geography got right. down. So the teacher's job in the classroom is very important. Yeah. Try to um, help them, okay, <coughs> motivate them. Okay. If you motivate them and they like your classes, they will like uh, everything about happening in the classroom. Good. Also, also kids, uh, we should play with them. Like, yes. Yeah, like games. Like Good. Try to find some games that might be interesting. Yeah, with very them. Yeah, with, with children. You become like a crazy teacher. Exactly, use this color. Yeah, and one of the best teachers are those who are crazy sometimes in their classes. Yeah, yeah. To Especially to, to use imitation. Yeah, imitation, yeah, yeah I mean, with kids, mind you. Good, interesting. Yeah, I, I was teaching this uh, I was teaching kids this morning and I was greeting them, okay. When I greet them I say like this, okay. They say, oh my god, it's hard. And they and they look it when they shake hands. They shake hands hardly with me again. And I imitate as if I'm, I get hurt again. And they like it. It was just the beginning of the lesson. Okay. And then they are motivated, they are laughing again. Yeah, this is motivation. Yeah. They like it. Sometimes when there's a song, you sing with them again. Okay? You become crazy. You dance, especially with kids. Yeah. I dance with them. Yeah. But with adults, no. <laughs> you avoid this. <laughs> yeah, you avoid this. It's very hard. But with children, you can, okay? Crazy. Yeah, that's why the, we said that they should know about your personality. Yeah. We are having fun. We are having fun. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we are still it's time for yeah. learning. It's learning. Yeah. Don't, don't you have fun all, all the time. time. No, no. Yeah. It's, it's a bit hard. And students will not respect you, will not promote you, and sometimes they make troubles in the classroom. Yeah. But if they know well about your personality, they know the times for having fun and times for being serious. serious. Okay, so these are some uh, roles that teachers or some situation of teachers. Good, um, after the break, we are going to start the second part, which is about learners, different learners. So